forever we've been like, you know, sleeking back our hair or laying down our edges, as we can say in pop culture, by taking the brush and dipping it into the gel. The gel should come out of the brush. That would be a better way of doing it. So my name is Rose and I created a product called Edge Go, which is a hairbrush that dispenses gel from within. I definitely knew that I needed a patent. I had absolutely no clue how to do it. The Cardozo Patent Diversity Project was created because there's a patent gap. There are a, a number of people, a large number of underrepresented inventors who are simply not obtaining patents. And that's what we're here for. We're here to close the gap. The program helped me, you know, get in contact with an attorney, and that attorney, he didn't just write me my application, he educated me on the whole process of going through patents and um, the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of a patent, and how long they can take. This took three years to, to go from start to finish. Our students are instrumental to assisting the inventors. We come in to provide them with patent education, linking them with pro bono assistance, especially when it comes to patent drafting. Because we're a part of the tech startup clinic, we're able to help them with entity formation, you know, set up their business, get their trademark, all these different types of issues. There were times where I thought, oh my God, this is not gonna get approved. It's very important that you have somebody like hold your hand and walk you through it. So that's what the project helped me do, most importantly. Rose's hairbrush. I just have never seen something like that before, especially in that particular combination of these parts. And you can really see the effort uh, and thought that went into this, this product. The most exciting thing about getting the patent out there is actually seeing something that you thought in your head actually come to life. I think that's the most important thing and the most fun thing about it. We're always thinking, I hope, clients obtain patents. Lo and behold, Rose was the first one, and we're absolutely ecstatic for it.